All right, so today we are going to learn how to do movements in Scratch. And we're going to work with three different types of movements, each of which have their own special purpose. So what we're going to do today is we're actually going to have Scratch learn to run the bases. And so we're going to add some different movements, some different turns to see how we can do that. So first of all, what we want to do is we want to give it a start. And so we're going to use when green flag is clicked. And what we want to do is make sure that every time we click the green flag, he's going to start back at home base. And so to do that, we're going to use a motion. And our first one is go to. And so what we'll see is that there's actually, if we look here, it changes the coordinates to wherever Scratch's current location is. So as I move him around, you can see that the, uh, the coordinates change. So we're going to start with him on home base, and we're going to see that it gives us the coordinates here. And so we're going to grab this go to, which is our first type of movement. And what that will do is whenever we click the green flag, no matter where he is on the page, when we click it, he's going to jump down to these coordinates, so which it's at 4 and negative 104. And so as we do that, that's going to give us kind of a reset. So that every time we hit the, the green flag, he'll reset so that we can then tell him what to do. So now we want to actually give him some of the, the motions. So we're going to work with some different types of motions. And the first is going to be that we're going to have him glide to first base. So now we could do this in a couple ways. You can see as I'm moving my mouse, the coordinates are changing down here and show me what those coordinates are. So we could say, like right now, if I put the mouse over first base, it's giving us 149 and 1. So we could go into glide, drag this over go to 149 and 1 and then we can see what happens so now when we click the green flag he glides to 149 and 1 so this is okay he ended up on that spot but he's covering up the base and that's because we didn't think about well where is the center where is he actually going to go to which one point since this is a larger uh, sprite, where's the one point that he's actually going to go to? And so a better way that we could do this is if we'll drag this one off is move the sprite to where we want him and then figure out, so now if we want him to go right over top of first base we could say that now the location just like with the go to, it's already changed them for us in the glide. So 154 and 44. So now if we drag that to 154 and 44, now when we click, click the green flag, he's going to glide to that location. Okay, so now we've got our reset, we've got him gliding, and then now we're going to want him to run to second base. So we could just go ahead and put in the same way, we could find out where that goes, place him up there, and say, okay, now we want him to glide to that location. So let's try that. He glides, and then he glides. And so that's okay, but again, it's not perfect. He's running backwards, the, the way this would be going. And so what we could do is we could add a turn in here first. Um, we could do this either by turning him a number of degrees, or we could have him the direction that we're having him point in. So we're going to have him point in direction, negative 90 degrees, which it tells us is left. And then we're going to attach that back on. So now let's click the green flag, he switches, and then now it looks like, okay, now he's going in the right direction. All right, so then to get to third base, we could now have him glide to that position, find out where that is. We don't need him to change direction because he's still facing the right way. So now when we click the green flag, he glides. Oh, but what happened? So now we didn't have him pointing back in the right way because when we restarted it, we didn't tell him anything to point in a certain direction. So what we could do as part of our reset, we could tell that when the green flag's clicked, we want him to start out facing right. So we can add in a point in direction 90 degrees and go to that location. So now green flag, he's right direction. He switched, he switched. And then now we're going to change him back to, at the end, 90 uh, degrees. And so then that should switch him back towards facing towards home plate. And we will tell him to glide to, and we can give him this location. We can make it exactly because we actually already know what home base is here with the 4 and negative 104. Or we could go ahead and grab it even if we don't want him to end at exactly that same, same point. So let's go ahead and just grab this one. And let's see what happens now. So when we press the green flag, he's going the right way. He turns, rounds third, and comes home. So again, so this is, we've got him running the bases. We've got him moving around, but he's just gliding. And so what we could actually do is we could add another function in to make it look more like the animation is actually running. And so with that one, let's add another when green flag is clicked. And so what that's going to mean is that both of these actions are going to happen when the green flag is clicked. So we can have him, when green flag is clicked, 
we can give it a repeat forever, which you want to be careful with using these because we don't want too many things going forever. It can bog your program down, but for uh, this program, it will actually work. And so we could go with our motions, excuse me, our looks, and have him go to the next costume. And then we can have give it weight. Let's give it half a second and see how that works starting out. And then go to the next costume as well. So this is also banking on the fact that we know that we've already got, if we look at what our costumes are for this sprite, we've got two costumes and they're different levels of steps, like so stepping in different directions. And so when we alternate between the two, it'll give the illusion that he's actually running, that his legs are moving as we're going around. And so what we've told it is now when we click the green flag, these things are going to happen, but also these things are going to happen. And so it should, let's see, when we click the green flag. So he's moving around, so it looks like maybe our time's not right. So, and we see that he's still going because this is actually going forever even though it stopped right here. And so we need to change, try changing our, our time. Let's go back to a full second. Okay, and I actually see what our problem was. I put the weight in between the first two, but I didn't tell it to wait before it jumps straight back into this next one. So it's not giving us any time to actually be able to see that. So if we give it another weight down here, and now I think we would probably be better off with our half second. All right, let's run that. And so now we can see that it looks like he's moving around. So the last thing that we've got here is that he's still moving when the bases are not moving. And so what we could do, we could fix this in a couple ways. We could actually put this inside of forever so then now that he would do both so let's stop this and start it again so now he's going to go around the legs keep moving and when he gets to home he's going to keep running he's going to turn the the bases and go around and so uh, as we're doing that that gives him the 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 full range looking like motion we've got him moving there um, we could also add if we wanted to have him stop at a certain point we could uh, add other motions in there as well but so this at least gives you the basic ideas of some of our basic movements. We've got him going to a certain direction, and we've got him gliding uh, as well. 